Now we're going on the uh, train ride today. I think it's an hour return, which is not too bad at yeah, all. Yeah, an hour return. Stop, please. It's like... <laughs> Can you stop for a minute Just while stop. we're recording? Just stop for a second. Right, Righto, so we get quite a few questions about what do you give the kids for snacks? How do you pack it? What do you give them? So I thought today's a perfect day because we're actually heading off to the historical... Was it a goal train? What is it? Uh, the Wahala Historic Rail. Wahala, <laughs> Wahala Historical Rail. Historic Rail. Historic Rail. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, I'll put it down the bottom. But this is just snacks for the kids today, let alone the food they've already eaten for breakfast and let alone the food that they will eat for lunch as well. Um, I was looking online last night. You can actually book the tickets for the rail on there. However, I couldn't do a return trip for some reason, so... Um, I called them this morning just to make sure they're running and they said yeah just turn up and buy a ticket because today is a Wednesday so they run on Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays with different mm. times depending on the days but all of their schedule for like the whole of 2023 is on there so go and have a look if you want to check it out but for us family of four, two adults, two kids it was $80 return. Uh, bag, so we've got these from Anaconda, they are the North Face. So they've got actually like boys and girls bags so they, yeah. they're contoured to Obviously, female and male. To suit the different shape yeah, of Yeah, I had no idea they even did that until we went yeah. and actually sussed them out. So, this is the boy one, obviously. Um, pretty cool. Good Mine's quality. Like black with rose gold and stuff. It's cool. Yeah. So, it's probably the first, well, this is the first time we're going to be using it since we got it. So, we've had it for probably a couple of months. We haven't really done anything uh, touristy for a while. We were talking no, about this yesterday. Just been off grid and loving being off grid, just to be honest. Camping and cooking and relaxing, basically, because no. I think we've just missed it so much since we were back in Brisbane. So, yeah, this is probably the first touristy thing we've done in so oh, a Hi. long time. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Jada's <laughs> in the bed too. That too so yeah, the north, the north face. So yeah, sell them at Anaconda. Bloody good bag so far and everything else. But uh, we'll be putting this to the test over the next six to twelve months and let you guys know how they go. But uh, first use today. Oh. See how it goes. Kids just packing up down the bottom there, putting their swags and stuff in. They were actually out here yesterday in some rafts and they're doing whitewater rafting which would have been absolutely freezing but extremely fun at the same time so we must have had probably 40 i reckon a good 30 plus and we had all the boys over this side with their tents and they were cooking up feeds and what sort of stuff and then over here was all the girls so they've all just left this morning but they were here yesterday when we turned up so they're pretty much here all day yesterday last night and they've left again this morning not too bad normally you'd say a scenario like that you get to a campsite and you find 30 plus nearly 40 kids in a campsite you think oh my goodness this is going to be rowdy loud out of control but it's a school-based thing and they had a couple of teachers there so they're keeping a keeping a, a wrap on things and making sure things weren't getting out of hand so it was a it, it was a good night it wasn't too bad at all so if you're wondering where we are this is cooper creek campground this is probably the first one you'll come across as you're coming into Walhalla. Um, out of all the campsites here, there's Thompson River as well, which is not too far from Walhalla. And then you've got another uh, free camp. I think it's Britannia Spur Turnoff. So it's another free camp, but it's more of a gravel pit. We did a bit of a recon yesterday, just to go and have a quick look to see what options there were. Um, probably wouldn't go at the, at the gravel pit. It wasn't very nice at all. It's more of a, if you were very desperate, had nowhere else to go, that'd be an option for you. Uh, Thompson, unfortunately, is closed at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's a yearly thing or a seasonal thing, but they've closed at the moment because it, it was obviously very wet and they're trying to protect the grass and stuff, but it will reopen. Very tight in there. We did have a look at that one. Probably wouldn't suggest going there if you have a van or anything the size of what we have. Would have definitely struggled getting in there. So we're out of the pick for free camps would have to be Cooper's Creek, 110%. So you've got two big camp spots either side here. There's eight and nine. Um, it's just first in, best dress. There's no, you don't have to jump online and make sure you can get uh, a booking and things like that. It's literally just rock up, set up, and then you can stay as long as you want, basically. Uh, there is a lot of little f fire pits around the place. So there was someone that turned up here yesterday just with a little tent. Um, and they've literally just, you know, set it up over in the corner there on the grass. So there's lots of different little spots around here you can tent and... Uh, swag and stuff like that, but then you've got a couple of two well two big sites here for caravans And it's easy enough to get the van in here more than enough room to turn around and stuff like that So 
yeah, a few little options there. There is one other camp spot. It's called the Chinese Garden. Um, it is paid though, and it's very exy. We went for a drive in there yesterday, and it's it's just a patch of grass that backs onto one of the little rivers there. Uh, not massive. You could probably fit, I don't know, 20 vans in there if you really wanted to. Not a huge area, but it does have amenities and stuff. But for us, it's $20 per adult, $10 for, I think it was five to 10 for kids, and then five and under was nothing. So for us to stay there per night it was $50. Insane. <laughs> so again, comes down to what you want to do. If you want to spend the money and be like basically in Walhalla, it's it's literally as you drive into Walhalla, it's not very big. And just out the other side, you've got the Chinese Garden. So if you want to be right there near town, Chinese Gardens would be a great option if you don't mind spending you know, $20 per adult. But for us, and doing what we're doing, more than happy to free can and save some money. We've got plenty of solar here as well. We're right next to one of the, the most beautiful rivers at the moment, the Thompson River. And it's, it's just stunning. So it's a bit of a win-win. You're away from town, but you're still close enough to go and check out stuff. So yeah, just a bit of a hot tip on where we are. I'll show you around the place and see what else is here. There is another Camp 2 down there. So I'll go and have a look at that at some stage. And uh, yeah, give you some information for when you want to come through and check out Wahala. Bags packed, cameras are charged. Snacks are everywhere. Good guy. Are you ready, photographer? I got my strap on. You got your strap on. Yeah, the strap that Chris hates and takes off every single time he uses the camera. Nothing like a good strap on. <laughs> this is the uh, the car park here. It's literally just around the corner from where the train station is. So they get you to park up here. And just around the corner down here to the left, back on the main road, is where we're going. You're what? We're going. You're going on the train? Yeah. Are you excited to go on the train? Yeah. 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 You wouldn't, I, you wouldn't stop talking about it yesterday. No. I was going to say, I assume we have to park around here because the gate was shut yesterday and you couldn't go down there. Well, it said car parking this way, didn't it? I don't know. We'll check when we get there. Oh, <laughs> you're the one that said. It's okay. We're taking a scenic walk. Unreal. Okay. Well, scratch everything I said and I'll give you an update in about two seconds. Yeah. You read the sign. You drive too fast, I don't get to read signs. Oh, stop it. We drove past it twice. <laughs> this is the second time. At speed. At oh. <laughs> Anyway, we'll uh, see how right Sean is in a second. Righto, here's the sign. This one right here. What's it say? Oh, car parking down there. Very little bit of parking here. Oh, nice so you could park here. Right, so if it's busy down here, you go back up to where I said. Not suited for large four drives of vans, so it's worth going down there. Yeah, so it's just a bigger, more open car yeah. park where we are. So it's literally right there. It's just there on the corner, so where it's not far. Yeah, where the 40 sign is. So you probably fit five, ten cars maybe down here, if you're early like us. Oh, this is going to be cool. I'm glad we wore our jumpers. Yep. There is not much going on with the carriages. Whew. Could have almost put long pants on. I was going to say, I'd almost go home and get changed and be like, I need five more layers. <laughs> My legs are going to freeze. They've already got goosebumps. Uh, it's all your different times when they operate. What are you learning, babe? Basically that it was here a really long time ago. Um, the last train actually ran in 1944. And then the building that was here got moved into Melbourne. But then this building here, they've rebuilt it um, based on the original plans and it opened in 2002. So basically, replica. yeah, it's a replica, this building, of what the original one was. Oh, that's pretty cool. But then I was looking at photos of the town even and there's been that many bushfires and different things that happen. Like a lot of um, things within the town are different to what they were way back then. It was actually quite a big town. Well, it's kind of cool that they've still got a lot of the old buildings and bits and pieces here yeah. to try and give you a perspective of yeah. what it used to be. What it would have been like. There was 15... Um, hotels in town. Fifteen? Fifteen. Wow, this must have been like party central. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, but that might have been for accommodation. Yeah, wow. 
Uh, 40 shops, 15 hotels, four churches, and a population of 2,000. All dependent on the world's richest gold-bearing reef. Wow. It was 55 tonne of gold. Jeez. That's insane. No wonder it was so popular. 770 million. Sausage dog. We've got cabbage, cabbage <laughs> juice milk. Cabbage juice milk, yeah, what the hell? It's called it's not milk. milk. We got some of this milk, so I don't know, has anybody ever seen this before? Not milk original. There is some interesting stuff in that. Is it good, Jack? I'm going to go take a walk away, I'm like, oh. Yummy! Hot chocolate. Hello. Everyone's got some little That's dogs. Rocky. That's my old dog, I used to have a shark, eh? Yeah. Rocky. Oh my god, we're, uh, Blue healer. Blue healer. I got a sausage dog. Sausage Mom, dog. What's Jack dog? What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Tell me. Oh, that's. I don't even know what that is. What are they called? I don't know. Just say the names of the dog for them. Tell us in the comments what it is. I'm sure yeah. someone will tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, do you want to look out the door so I can get a photo? Oh, how cool is this? The man just said we can get the kids up here and get a photo. <laughs> Straight in the train. Woohoo! How cool is that? Kodak moments. <laughs> You're right. I like it all. How cool is that? I like it all. Yeah, a big red door. It's cool in here. Isn't it? Where's Where's the lever to make it move? That one there, the big, this the big one? gold one, yeah. Oh. Did you enjoy the train, Jack? It's so scary. It was scary, but then did you have fun? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jada? I had a lot of fun. I liked looking out the window at the crystal clear, clear water. What do you want to say, Jack? Um, talk on it. I love you. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Expect the train ride to take around 20 minutes. It takes you from Walhalla to Thompson Station. Here you can get off and have a look around at the station where they've got a heap of souvenirs, a small cafe, and you can also go down to the picnic area where you can view the river and the old railway bridge. Take note, under the bridge, there's also some great artwork of the train itself. Head back to the station and get ready to embark on your journey back to Walhalla.
The next stop on our Wahala day trip was to go to the Wally pub for a quick cold one and a bite to eat. This quaint little pub is only a few minutes up the road and has counter meals available from Wednesday through until Monday with beer on tap along with other beverages. Just make sure you call in advance just to make sure they're open as they are so remote. Be careful of the cheeky kookaburras because they will come down and try and steal your lunch right from under your nose. So literally just got back to camp and found ah, it's all good. this. <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh wow, he's like totally on the left bottom. Don't know. I didn't actually see it. There was a huge that's goanna right. here yesterday. Oh, there's two of them. Hey, look, there's yeah, like well there you go. There. Well, that's funny because we talked about this yesterday about putting the damn bin away, and we did it, and that's exactly why. Hey, look, look, he looks like he's been attacked. He's huge. He looks like he's been attacked. His the Possibly. bottom of his tails. No. He got pretty close. He'll come over and look for some food, probably leftovers. Hi. Well, that uh, now indicates that we probably should maybe put that bin inside and not Watch leave that bin. out. Yeah. They literally tore apart the nappy, of all things. Yeah, I'm so glad he like, doesn't... My hand's not very clean right now. Well, I'm glad he doesn't pull on his nappies anymore. Oh, <laughs> Could you imagine? It. It'd be everywhere in the smell. Yeah, look. Oh my goodness. Today was really good, hey? I did really enjoy today. I, um, I had high expectations and just for what we'd seen driving the roads and where the railway tracks went, yeah, it was. Uh, there was a lot of potential there, and it, it absolutely delivered. And it was yeah, exactly really, what we really thought really it was going to be. Plus some, I reckon. Yeah, definitely yeah. worth doing for us it, as a family of four. So two adults and two kids. It was eighty dollars return. Mm. So there's Wahala Station in town and Thompson Station out of town, and you can either go one way or you can come back again. But recommend doing the return unless you've got someone at the other end to get you with your car or something. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool too. You can take dogs on the train. Yeah, we had a couple of people there yeah. with dogs and stuff on there, so pretty uh, pretty laid back, pretty friendly. You can do just about anything you want. And yeah. Yeah, again, like the people and the, the workers there were super friendly and just really accommodating. It was just a really good, yeah. fun experience today. The weather was amazing. Jack Everything was it. great. We've still got to go into town. There's a visitor center and a, like, a little store and stuff in there mm. and um, the Long Tunnel Mine tour. Yeah. So we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. And then we still haven't shown you the campsite because we got back today and there's more school kids here. So. We're, we're getting smashed. But I've, I've sort of figured out why it's so busy here. Mm. Because that campsite too that I showed you and the amount of room that's over there is closed. So I pretty much in this area, that would be the main spot where it a lot of people go. Out. So being closed, everybody's inundating this one little tiny area and it just... Yeah, it's I don't, pretty hectic. I, we've left a caravan park and I feel like it's busier here than what it was at the caravan park yeah. that we're at last. So, all right. so it's all that. Uh, tonight's pretty chilled out and laid back. We're, we're still doing our Avengers. <laughs> yeah, we're just kicking back, relaxing for night time. These kids go to bed around that sort of 7 o'clock and then most Marvel movies go for about two hours. So, yeah, we're in bed by about 10 o'clock-ish, which is not too bad. And then up again in the morning is to go back exploring and go and find out some more adventures. So, yeah, it's good. So yeah, that's us. We'll see you guys in the morning. Unfortunately, this other can spot is closed. Closed for hazardous tree works, reopening 21st. Oh, so there must be some big trees and branches and stuff. And the way this weather's been, I'm not surprised. Now we'll go and have a quick look, see what we could have had. Well, this is definitely the main campground. There is so many sites. All the way around the outside, all through the middle. It's a real shame this is not open. Plenty to pick from. It's quite open too, so I'm too sure why it's closed. Anyway, if you were to come here, I'd be picking campsite too. Heaps to choose from. The cool thing about this so far is it's well maintained, it's looked after, you've got fire pits everywhere, you've got toilets and amenities, uh, it's all cordoned off little sections and areas. It's just, it's 
looked after basically i didn't realize until we got here that it was going to be like this i just thought it was going to be a um just a random free camp in the middle of nowhere and uh pretty surprised pretty pretty impressed it's nice out here you're looking at coming out here 100 percent bring the van out plenty of room heaps of space to turn around heaps of can spots to choose not a bad spot whatsoever so we're just going to go for another quick walk down to the water because it looked like there was a little path down there that brings you back to where we were just before so let's gonna see what we can find so it's just coming out of the back of campsite 2 there and there's this little footpath here behind me and out the back there is a really cool little view out to the water and then it continues along beside the river and brings you back to basically where we're camping so it's really cool it's not massive but there's still a couple of, couple of nice little things here it's not a bad little spot it's so far off the main road it's like basically in the middle of nowhere and it's just really really nice it's it's actually changed a lot the landscape as well compared to where we have been in the high country to come over to this side now where the wahala is it's like a whole nother landscape it's like real rainforesty ferns big long big tall uh, trees with canopies and stuff like it's really really cool it's amazing like the diversity of the landscape just around this area in general is so so cool really enjoying it Hidden away deep in a steep valley in Gippsland, Victoria, Walhalla was once a rich gold mining town with over 3,500 people calling it home. Now it is home to just 20 or so permanent residents. Gold was first discovered in Walhalla by Ned Stringer in 1862 in a small creek that ran into the Thompson River. He quickly laid his claim and word spread of his find, and with the lure of gold to be found, the town quickly grew, becoming a thriving community. Walhalla was even the first country town outside of Melbourne to have electric street lighting, which was courtesy of the boilers which generated power to run the machinery in the gold mines. The railway arrived in 1910, but that was just a few short years before the closure of the mine in 1914. Ironically, instead of being used to bring new buildings to Walhalla and grow the town, the railway ended up being used to remove many of the buildings after the mine had closed. For many years, Walhalla slept virtually abandoned in its deep valley. Today, many buildings have been meticulously recreated, including the Mechanics Institute, the post office, fire station, and the corner store museum. You can take a stroll up this main street past the original stone retaining wall and the fire station, which is over Stringers Creek, and explore spectacular views of the township from the tram line walking track, which was once used to transport ore carts. Wahala feels like it's been frozen in time. And if you get to pass through the area and have a look for yourself, we highly recommend you go for a visit. Lolly shop. Is it open? I don't know. Nah. Bummer. I reckon that's Just a mine entrance. Or one of them. And that's a locker. Bank of Victoria. Oh, bank. That would have been the vault. Oh, Hi, hello. I reckon if you put your hand out, he'd almost think that you were going to feed him or something. <laughs> he's not silly. He knows there's nothing there. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he fell for it for a second. What are you doing? It's pretty cute, eh? Welcome to the Walhalla Nugget question. Wow. Not scared, eh? Oh, hello. This one might. Do you want to? No. Yeah. You're very friendly though. So we've all been for a bit of a walk through the town. Jack was with us as well originally when we were walking through the town. 
And then um, he just pretty much lost his marbles over not getting a lolly. And so Chris is like, we can't take him in a mine. Like, let's be honest, we can't go in a mine with him like this, which is true. So, um, yeah, it's just Jada and I. We're going to do... I'm so oh. excited. I haven't been in a mine or a cave for a very long time. Yeah, she's been hanging out for this because part of me was like, oh, do we just leave it then? Because, like, it was a bit too hard basket. But Chris has dropped us off. It's supposed to take an hour. Um, and then after that, I guess he'll just come pick us up, hopefully, <laughs> and then go from there. So, um, we'll take you on, we'll take you in for the journey anyway. I'm not entirely sure what the prices are, whatever it is, I'll put it just down the bottom now. Um, but yeah, it'll just be Jada and I, uh, I'll include the family price, price below and, um, I'll show you what's involved. I don't think I'll do a lot of sound in there because there's quite a few people in the town that we just saw and they all said they're coming to the mine tour. So if that's the case, you've got to be a little bit careful when you're, Recording around lots of other people, but I'll do what I can. Creepy. He's creepy. What's creepy? He's creepy. Yeah, he's a little bit, isn't he? <laughs> All these different tools. Oh, on the other side here, it's different. Or a different picture? Yeah. Yeah, show me your head. Am I a boy or a girl? You're a boy. You have a beard. I think you're still a boy with muscles. <laughs> So we've just been told to come in here and find ourselves a helmet. So I don't know if they're all the same size, but we'll see what we can do. You've got to put on your um, hairnet before you put the helmets on. How do I put hairnet on? You open it. How do you open whatever this thing is? How do you open it? You just do exactly what you're doing. You pull it apart. I'm going to end up breaking it. No, you won't. You just pull. Like, don't... Just it'll slowly come apart like a zigzag shape. It's not coming. It is. Do you want some help? Yes. It's coming, it's coming. There you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that. Put I'm it on gonna, your hair. No, I gotta get my I wanna tie my hair up first. Hold that please. And it's Oh, very pretty. I look like a hospital worker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mum used to wear these. She used to come home and when I was like, Mum, you look like an alien. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I remember you, I've seen you wearing them before. Yeah, that's when I used to dye my hair. And you um looked like an alien. Thanks. No offence. What have you found? Strawberry. What are they? I don't know. Do you remember what it's called? No. You're just eating them. Sure. They called a mock strawberry because we just saw the plant and we're like, oh my god, it's Ready? a strawberry. Bush chucker. Basically a Sweet. weed. So, is there any that's on the plant still that I can show? Or have you taken them all? No. Yeah, so they more. start like this, like a little. Here, yeah, there's one up here. They start like this, look, like a little look, case. Look, 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 look. And then they're in there. Where? Oh, yeah. There it's a bit eaten, but. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll try and find another one. Bush strawberries or alpine strawberry. Yeah. To the second light. Wait here for guide. And this is the portion of the tour where I'm no longer allowed to film. I wasn't aware that I couldn't film until we got in. But pretty much we walked about 250 metres into the mountainside, which is actually 150 metres deep if you were to look from the top. This was built around about 150 years ago. It took them seven years until they found their first signs of gold. The mine closed in 1914 and at that time they had gone through a total of 859 tonnes of quartz and they had got 13.7 tonnes of gold. In the 1890s, the Long Tunnel Extended Mine was the biggest gold producer in Victoria for five consecutive years. And in one of the years, it was actually the biggest producer in Australia. There is eight and a half kilometers of underground tracks and it goes a further 923 meters below the machinery chamber that we visited. You can no longer get to the lower floors though, as they're since flooded and the pine frames that held it together have all rotted away. The final fact that I'll leave you with, which I found interesting, is that when it rains, it takes nearly a week for it to come through and actually reach the chamber through that 150 metres of ground above you. How crazy is that? 
Thanks for watching this week's episode. We're excited to get back on track next week when you join us in 2023. We took a break from filming over the Christmas period, but we've got lots of new content coming your way and you'll be right up to date with us at the end of January. We'll see you then. Holy moly. It's such a good stretch. Oh, far out. That was really good. <laughs> so yeah, we're going on the historical train ride, an hour return. How much was it? $80. It, oh, baby, put me on the spot. I think we might be doing that maybe tomorrow or the next day, because they're open. Are we, we going to take your backpack or mine? Oh, I don't care, whatever. Army print or black? Whatever, babe. Army print. Army print, okay. Cool. Well, babe, we're taking your bag. See, that's why I wanted to ask. Mom, mom, anyway. Mom, mom. Go with it. So, anyway. So, if anybody's going to ask, as soon as we bring anything. Hello, out, double chin. <laughs> There's plenty of these going on, these double chin, double chin shots. <laughs> double <laughs> Double chin. <laughs> You're a double chin or a two chin? <laughs> down to fit in. Cool. Hey legends, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends. If you need more of a Big Oz fix, head over to our website, bigozexplorers.com for merch, information on our setup, places we've been, recipes, links to our socials, and much more. We look forward to seeing you for a new adventure next week. Cheers, guys. <laughs>